More offbeat and edgy than other Brooklyn neighborhoods, today we are exploring Bushwick. I'm Hava and I just arrived here via the L train because Bushwick is serviced by the L, J, M, and Z subway lines. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and while you're at it, go ahead and turn on notifications and hit that like button if you're excited to explore Bushwick with me. Graffiti and street art is a really big part of the culture here in Bushwick. So I wanted to start off by actually booking a full organized tour of the Brooklyn graffiti and street art. So today, the first part of our adventure is to go check it all out and I'm joining the free tours by foot tour of the graffiti and street art so I'm not allowed to film the tour of course but I will show you some of the amazing highlights of the art here in Bushwick <laughs> The street art and graffiti here in Bushwick was definitely a good idea to do on a tour. I called it on that one, so I would definitely recommend you do that as well if you come. I really liked my tour. This is not at all affiliated or anything, but I do recommend the tour that I took by Mar, who was with Free Tours by Foot. It's the Graffiti and Street Art Bushwick tour again, and I learned some interesting things. Like for example, when you see graffiti up there high, close to the ceiling roofs of the buildings, those are actually known as the heavens. I also learned that when you see walls that are completely blank here in Bushwick, most likely that's what we call buffing, which buffing means that it has been cleaned up, painted over, so that it's a blank canvas again, because although there are many areas of Bushwick that embrace the street art and the graffiti, there are still some areas and people who don't. So that was another interesting thing to learn. this kind of street art there are so many styles and different ways of doing it and it has also evolved over time so we were able to really take a good look at different styles and different types with the help of our tour guide explaining the different things to us and all different kinds of canvases too mostly walls but even then different kinds of walls which was interesting different surfaces so I really got a lot out of this I thought it was a very culturally enriching experience here in New York City and I mean this is the place to see street art really because I believe because of how vast it is I don't know if and if you've been to the Wynwood Walls in Miami or downtown Houston, a lot of these places are very concentrated murals and street art, whereas this is very spread out. In fact, I think it might be, if I remember correctly, you can fact check me on this, I do believe Bushwick is the largest open air gallery of this type of art in the world. So it's pretty amazing. You can walk up and down all the streets and you probably still haven't seen it all because it's constantly changing. This neighborhood is also a popular spot for secondhand shopping, so I popped into a thrift store to get a taste of it. One thing I would be remiss to not mention on a video to Bushwick is the fact that Bushwick is really known for having an amazing nightlife scene. So even though we're here in the middle of the day, behind me is House of Yes, which is a big popular spot for some cool nightlife here in Bushwick. Although there's plenty beyond this, this is just a place I've heard of a lot. Specifically, I think they have big events here and stuff. So it's definitely something to check out if this is your type of scene.
Bushwick is a very diverse neighborhood, and according to the 2021 census by the NYU Furman Center, 47.6% of this neighborhood is comprised of a Hispanic population. So I thought how fun would it be to go to Gabby's Bakery and get a Tres Leches Mexican cake. Here we go. Please have a trace leches in this water. That's it, thank you. Okay. Kitty corner to Gabby's Bakery is the Maria Hernandez Park. So we're heading into the park now to enjoy this trace leches in yet another cool spot in Bushwick. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Time for the taste. For those of you who don't know me super well, I love Trace Leches cake. So, being from Houston, where Tex Mex and Mex is a big cuisine there, I have tried a lot of Trace Leches in my life, and I, I really know how to judge a good Trace Leches well, in my personal opinion. It's a good Trace Leches. Not the best I've ever had, but it's, it's good. Mmm. I spoke briefly with the man who was working the counter there and he actually told me he is from Mexico. So I'm guessing this is a family run bakery and that they are from Mexico. So definitely authentic. And I've actually never ordered one with peaches in it before. I asked him for plain. I don't know if this was a mistake or if this is their plain with the peaches. I like peaches though, so I'm not upset. I obviously can't finish this whole thing in one sitting and maybe I'll even share it with someone who seems homeless or hungry on my way home. So now let's take a look around this beautiful park because this is a surprise. I didn't plan to come to this park during this video, but it was recommended by my tour guide. So let's check it out. Like many neighborhoods across Brooklyn and New York City as a whole, Bushwick really has its own appeal, its own vibe, if you will, which I thought was really fun and interesting to explore. I mean, I will say, if you're a local to New York City, this is such a great way to spend an afternoon. And I would actually recommend, I came here in the morning for the tour, but if you can, I would recommend you come in the afternoon so that it can bleed into the evening and you can enjoy some of that nightlife. And if you come during the warm weather months, then hopefully as you're walking around admiring the street art and stuff, it's a little bit cooler than it is right now. It is very hot right now. I've been trying to hide just how hot I am. If you're visiting from afar, I actually wouldn't classify this as something that you need to do, especially on a first trip to New York. But I will say I was surprised to hear that most of the people who attend the tours that I did today are actually international. But it's such a great way to explore and get to know an area that's near you or within the United States as well. So I, I think this is really something neat to appreciate, but you're gonna have to be the judge after seeing this video here as to whether it's something you wanna do with your time here in the city, whether you live here or not. And again, as I mentioned, every neighborhood has a little bit of a different feel. So make sure you check out my other videos on this channel so that you can get an idea of some of the other places around, maybe something that's geographically closer to where you intend to be, or even further out if you wanna explore further out. I've done stuff in Queens, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island even, and of course Manhattan. So I've covered a lot of ground here in New York City and I would love you to check it out with me. And with that being said, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll be aware of the next places that I explore with you here in the city. And like this video while you're at it because you made it to just about the end. And join me over on Instagram if you want more day-to-day -day content. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see you on the streets of New York, or at least in the next video. Bye.